President's advisors, including members of his family, wanted him to deliver a speech to the country. Deputy White House Counsel Pat Philbin prepared the first draft of what would be the President's remarks on national healing, delivered by a pre-taped video on January 7th. The committee has learned that the President did not agree with the substance as drafted and resisted giving a speech at all. Ms. Hutchinson, do you recall discussions about the President's speech on January 7th? I do. Let's listen, Ms. Hutchison, to what you told us about that and about the process of crafting those remarks. Uh, I learned from a conversation with Mark and overhearing between him and White House counsel and um, Eric Hirschman as well that Trump didn't necessarily think he needed to do anything more on the 7th than what he had already done on the 6th when he was convinced to put out a video on the 7th, he, I understand that he had a lot of opinions about what the context of that announcement were to entail. Um, I had original drafts of the speech where you know, there were several lines that didn't make it in there about prosecuting the rioters or calling them violent. He didn't want that in there. He wanted to put in there that he wanted to potentially pardon them. Um, and this is just with the increased emphasis of his mindset at the time, which was he didn't think that they did anything wrong. He, the people who did something wrong that day, or the person who did something wrong that day was Mike Pence by not standing with him. But the president's advisors urged him to give the speech. Who convinced him to do the video on the 7th? I'm not sure who convinced him or if it was a group of people that convinced him. Who was in the group that you're aware of? That I'm aware of. Mark, Ivanka, Jared Kushner, um, Eric Hirschman, Pat Cipollone, Pat Philbin. Those are the people that I'm aware of. Do you know why that group of people thought it was necessary for him to release a statement? I believe Kelly McEnany as well. Um, from what I understood at the time, and from what the reports were coming in, there's a large concern of the 25th Amendment potentially being invoked, and there were concerns about what would happen in the Senate if it was, if the 25th was invoked. So the primary reason that I had heard, other than, you know, we did not do enough on the 6th. We need to get a stronger message out there and condemn this. this. Otherwise, this will be your legacy. The secondary reason to that was think about what might happen in the final 15 days of your presidency if we don't do this. There's already talks about invoking the 25th Amendment. You need this as cover.